Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. Today is Wednesday, December 26, 2018, the day after Christmas. Hope you all had a wonderful holiday yesterday. Now it's time to reel back into regularity for just about another week or so. Because we have New Year's coming up. So folks, I smashed the collection one take yesterday. So now we're moving on to a new collection. And it's one that I'm excited to try. It is the David's Top Green Tees. I actually had to think about it <laughs> instead of guessing what the collection is. So folks, like the two before the Christmas special, or rather the two before yesterday and the two days before, this is the last 310 collection that I have and I bought from eBay. And um, it says, let's see here. Green tea is the world's most popular drink, second only to water. And this handy collection has our three fav fan favorites. So, I will say all of which are organic, which is, you know, interesting if you like organic or you live a organic lifestyle in terms of your diet. Um, today's tea that we will be trying is mostly needed at this time, <laughs> and that is Organic Detox. So, Organic Detox, let's list the ingredients before I talk about how I made the tea. Organic Detox contains rooibos which is fair trade certified, okay, sencha, green tea, lemongrass, ginger, juniper berries, ginkgo with natural lemon flavoring. Interesting, okay. So, yeah, folks, yesterday kind of had a pretty heavy set of uh, Christmas dinner, so I want to you know, I want to try this tea most certainly today. And I actually brewed a cup for my mother. That's why it's really low. Because it was packed to the brim like all of these big silver tins. So, for my cup in particular, I used two perfect spoons. Between 10 and 15 ounces of water. I think it's more towards 10 this time. I brewed it on 175 degrees Fahrenheit water. I let it steep for around three minutes approximately. My silly butt forgot to turn on the timer when I poured out the liquid for both of our cups. So it's an approximation. I know it wasn't over five minutes because the span is from three to five minutes. And this tea blend has low caffeine, so... I guess that's okay. Really could use more caffeine, but I'll just go to a different tea blend for that. All right, so, folks, I have it brewed up. <coughs> okay, folks, so I have the tea right here. Like I said, readily brewed. We're going to try it unsweetened first, then I'll sweeten it with a little bit of honey. So let's go in for the sip, unsweetened. Definitely the sencha green tea gives that vegetal note. Roy Blast kind of has that earthy profile as well it's 
Don't really taste the lemon flavoring. Yeah, I don't really taste the lemon flavoring. Not even as an aftertaste. Okay, so that's that tea unsweetened. I kind of took three sips. Um, oops. Might be focusing on the mug handle. So now we got the day's honey, y'all. And I will just put a perfect spoon. I might have to fish out my um, honey from storage because my mother likes green tea, so I'll make her cup and then my cup as well. And then um, she likes her tea like automatically sweet, but I like to try it unsweetened first. Then I'll put in the sweetener if it needs it. Yeah, y'all, I'm going to definitely need to dip into more of the detox. Because <laughs> Christmas dinner was very, very not good for me. But I did have my vegetables, at least. <laughs> Is that a side salad? It was like so much chicken and shrimp. Like I knew better, but I didn't really know better. Okay, that's enough time for the honey to completely dissolve. All well and good. So let's try this sweetened with some honey. Okay, I'm sorry for the long pause, y'all. I'm trying to think what this honey is doing to this tea. I still don't really taste the lemon flavoring. But it just takes the edge off the vegetal um, scent of green tea. Still kind of tastes earthy with the rooibos. Since that's the most um, abundant ingredient. But... Yeah, it's pretty much all the honey does. I mean, let's hand my ver I'll hand my verdict. Let's let's hear the verdict, right? So in the case of organic, okay, yeah, organic detox green tea from David's Tea, unsweetened, I'd actually give a good because if you overindulged or whatever, or if you want to detox and the tea or excuse me and like you're looking to just cleanse you know just cleanse the impurities away i could see that this is you know viable because i know um ginger is to help with your stomach juniper berries play a part in like detox like helping to detoxify um impurities and stored in the body I, i'm not saying oh yeah i feel detoxed already let me let me make that clear but it's just that i could drink this like after overindulging for a few days and um you know just feel a little better like having it unsweetened is, you know, it's, it's it's good. It's good. Like I can see myself doing this as a formal, like intro to detox. And um, I don't know. I actually welcome the 
earthiness and the vegetal tones because of all that crap that I had yesterday. This is a nice little wake-up call. Now, sweetened organic detox. I... I'd give a good two. I mean, I'm I'm teetering between good and okay, but it is good. It is good. Like, I don't really have anything wrong with it, but it's just that I would think that the I wish the lemon flavor would come out more. That would um kind of make this easier to justify. You know, sweetening it, but I would actually drink this unsweetened over sweetened first. Like, this is definitely a tea that tastes better to me, unsweetened. But, you know, if you're, like, used to having, like, a something sweet in the morning, which is what I do, I, I'm so accustomed to having something sweet in the morning, but if there is Nothing that, um, or if I didn't need to freaking detox, I could do without sweetness in the morning. So, the organic detox is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's also ginkgo that helps with mental awareness. I'm not sure uh, what other health benefits ginkgo has. Um... Lemongrass, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just for flavor. But yeah, y'all. That is David's Tea's Organic Detox. And uh, I guess, Lord, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all the smell and everything. Yeah, I mostly smell the scentia, maybe a hint of lemongrass. I don't know what juniper berries smell like, but let me. I didn't use so much of it already. I don't know if you can see the juniper berries, y'all, but. There you go. I guess. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> yeah, but there are some thick juniper berries up in here. You may not be able to see it. But they are there, and I did three teaspoon, three perfect spoons, excuse me, of this already, and it's like a bit more than half full, probably at halfway point. But yeah, so that's gonna do it for this episode of Thirty One Days of David's Tea, Day Twenty Six Down. Oh my gosh, we're almost at the end. I can't believe it. So any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave them in my comment section below. Any and all are greatly appreciated and welcome. I love reading your comments. Uh, hope you had a wonderful Christmas, like I said before. And I will see you later for Wellness Wednesday, if you want to tune in for that. If not, I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation of 31 Days of David's Tea and um, Thirsty Thursday. So, folks, we are ringing, the, we're going to ring in the New Year soon. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I, what I can have planned. But, you know, well, we'll figure something out. All right, y'all. Take care. Take it easy. Make it a great day today and every day. Um, if you are traveling back, which I doubt because of New Year's, and if you have the liberty to tr um, stay, you know, continue enjoying your company, uh, continue relaxing. Uh, I will see you tomorrow safe travels if you're traveling back already um and folks i will see you all later on today or tomorrow whatever you prefer all right y'all take care take it easy bye now